I'm Christine Crawley, and this is your NWI.com daily news update for Wednesday, December 15th. Police on both sides of the state line continue their probe of a bi-state shooting suspect. Lake County investigators are expected to perform tests on a gun used in a botched robbery by a Rankin, Illinois man suspected of being the shooter. Police say 48-year-old Gary Amaya was shot to death with his own gun trying to rob an L.A. tan in Orland Park this past weekend. Lake County will test the gun to see if it was the same one used to shoot a Lowell farmer in a two-state spree on October 5th. Will County has already performed its test of the gun. A limestone quarry may be on its way towards near Lowell after the Lake County Council approved a proposed 16 million 350 foot pit on Tuesday. Dozens of South County residents criticized the 600 acre quarry, saying that they feared that their property values would be lowered. The Singleton Stone Quarry LLC must still win over the county's drainage board, which does not expect to take up their proposal for at least two months. And the show will go on at the old 49er drive in in Valparaiso. The violent snowstorm that prompted a state of emergency in Porter County this week tore down a third of the screen at the 54-year-old drive-in. But owners of the community favorites say that the screen will be prepared, repaired in time for the spring opening. And just a reminder, there are 10 shopping days until Christmas. For all of your news, continue to follow us at NWI.com as well as Facebook and Twitter.